Ashley, thank you. Before hitting Florida, Hurricane Irma pummeled several Caribbean islands, killing more than 20 people. One of the hardest hit areas, the island of St. Martin. Ted on your side's Aaron Kelly talked to a Virginia Beach man working to help his family and everyone else there. Aaron? Well, Brandy, he says he remembers Hurricane Luis striking the island. That was 22 years ago last week. But when he saw the size of Irma, he became very worried about the friends and family in its path. Jain Lindo of Virginia Beach has lived in the U.S. for 10 years, but home is the Dutch island territory of St. Martin, 1,500 miles away. And like so many this week, he's felt helpless as he watched a monster of a storm barrel toward the people he loves. Seeing it going that way and not being able to help or do anything, and they can't evacuate like in the U.S. because it's an island, so you can't drive up north. His family sent these photos of the damage that happened around them as they rode out the storm. And they went downstairs to the bathroom that's away from the sliding doors, and they had to stay in there for like three to four hours while, like my mother said, it's just up and down and it sounded like, she said like bombs dropping outside, basically because there's roof from other houses like slamming into the house. Military aircraft have already evacuated 1,200 U.S. citizens from St. Martin, where multiple deaths have been reported. Lindo says he's hoping his family can get out too. And for now, he's working on a relief effort right here in Hampton Roads. Starting tonight and tomorrow, I'm going to be working with my job. Uh, my office manager already said that before it even hit, that she would be willing to help me organize, like, you know, food supplies, clothes, you know, care packages, whatever it may be. Like, I would have rather been there and go, gone through it with them than be up here and just, like, waiting and waiting. And and the Dutch Foreign Ministry says St. Martin has suffered, quote, little inconvenience from wind and rain that can't be tackled with repair and cleanup operations. Soldiers and aid workers are expected to deliver food and water there this week. Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.